All right, today's project is Chaga Tea at the request of uh, Vicky of, uh, from uh, Hope Bus. She said, I want to see you making Chaga Tea and drinking it. So that's what the project is for today. I'm going to grind up some uh, Chaga here and put it in my little tea strainer, uh, my sifter there and uh, we'll have some uh, chaga tea today. So there's my water getting it's all boiled up ready to go. We'll fill up the cup and get her nice and warm inside. Uh, my, my thermal cup there. And we'll put some chaga in my little strainer there. Grind it up and let's fill that thing up. It's better in the powder form than the uh, cubed. I did uh, just boil the cubes and make the chaga drink that way. Uh, this way, I, uh, just you can use individual uh, teacup this way. That's good. Thanks for that tip there, Vicky. That's great. Usually, I would have to make a lot and then let it cool down and I'd have a lot saved up there. So I'm putting larger chunks in here just to fill it up a little more and uh, put it in my cup and steep some uh, chaga tea. Now you're going to have to look up chaga for yourself. I'll put some photos in here of what chaga looks like uh, in, in the wild, like in nature, on the tree. Uh, look it up. Look up the medicinal things for it. Some people say it has very good medicinal uh, properties. Some say that it has absolutely none. I don't know. So there's a very dark, you can't see very well, but for me, <laughs> naked eye, it's very dark. You want a nice... You want a nice dark colored tea. There it is, Vicky. Let's have a drink. Now, chaga to me doesn't really taste like anything. Uh, it doesn't have any flavor, maybe an earthy flavor to me. And uh, I like to put a sweetener in mine. And I'm going to get some uh, honey. I, I don't think I have honey. I've got uh, Roger's syrup. I think I'll put some of that in. Uh, just to sweeten it up, give it a little bit of an extra little bite to it. Uh, it doesn't change the medicinal purposes or properties of of chaga. And uh, there, Rogers syrup. If you're going to find chaga, well, hmm, I'm not too sure where you can even buy it. It's very expensive. Uh, you can hunt it on the tree yourself and go uh, harvest it from the trees or find someone that's uh, selling it. You're going to have to check out Vicky's channel, Hope Bus. I'll put a link uh, in the description and uh, check her out. She knows a little bit about this kind of stuff. She's given me heck and said, I want to see you uh, drinking some chaga tea. So here you go, Vicky. This is for you, the chaga tea with a little bit of a sweetener. <laughs> And uh, Vicky was saying that you could do this about six times. Use that little uh, strainer, leave that in there, and do that six times. You can get six cups of tea out of that. So great uh, hint. Love it. I'm going to enjoy my chaga tea a little bit. Maybe you could put a creamer in if you like that. I don't know. You'll have to taste it just to see what you like. It's a mushroom that grows on a, uh, a uh, bad spot on a birch tree. That's where it comes from. And there we go. Tastes great with a little bit of uh, sweetener in it. And like I said, uh, it has kind of an earthy flavor, maybe to me, earthy kind of. Not like your herbs and teas would be, not as strong. All right. Let's do some geocaching. So I'm on my way back to Medicine Hat. And on the way, I thought I'd do some geocaching. There's geocaches all along the way, a highway and what have you. So we might as well go cat a few. Let me just show you what I've got here at the moment. Now this one shows right here, the tip of my finger. That's the green little green symbol there that's where the geocache is 
and it's 1.5 kilometers away. And the line here shows uh, where I'm coming from. Okay, there's me, the little blue triangle. And the green thing with the tent in it, that's the park, the 40 mile park. And then that's the geocache over there, right about there. So we'll head over that way, see what we can find. It is a magnetic micro by uh, Team DJM, which is a couple from Lethbridge. I, I know them for many years now. So let's go find this. Just a little windy today.